That's there great. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Well, 2022 has been another year that hasn't quite gone to plan. But rather than looking back to the past, this year, I want to ask people a very simple question about the future. Where do they think the world's headed? And are they optimistic about it? Let's find out what they say. Where, where's, where's the world headed? Oh gosh, I think it's heading somewhere there. The world's going to head to a very dark place very, very soon. Where do you think things are headed next? Yeah, what, what, where's the world headed? <laughs> Well, I mean, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully getting better than it's been the past couple of years. <laughs> Where are things headed next? So right. it's more of the same, probably. The world, yeah, it's going backwards, isn't it? Car, reality of it is, yeah, we went from, we went from times ten years ago, yeah, you would think to yourself like, oh, I look forward to the future. Now it's like, oh, what's the future gonna bring? Now people are worried about it. That shows there's something wrong, innit? It's just, just natural. Thing, innit? There's I'll something wrong, thing. bro. Everybody agrees there's something wrong, so something needs to change. Yeah. Are you hopeful for the future? Ching is hope out there somewhere. Yeah, soon we but whether that hope's going to be fat, we don't know, innit? I don't know. Hard uh, no, question, personally, innit? I think it's going to be an outbreak near Area 51. Aliens are going to come zap, man, and get us gone. <laughs> Racketing, innit? Like, you know, like that. <laughs> so I'm asking yeah. people, where do you think the world's headed? I don't know how to answer that. Um, it's quite difficult at the moment. Things are quite negative, so it's hard to stay positive, isn't it? Are you optimistic about where things are going? <laughs> Not even thought about it, please. Well, that's what other people think, but what about you? you know, where do you think things are headed? Are they getting better or worse? Or is it just endless and ever more complicated chaos? And what if I was to ask you a slightly more personal version of that question? Uh, where do you think your life is going? As we look at the world around us, it's easy to pick out the many things that make for the good life, things that we human beings enjoy. I call them the Fs. Fun, food, family, friendship, fitness, falling in love. But even if you've lived the most sheltered life, you're bound to encounter some of the D's of life as well. Disappointment, death, depression, disease, disorder and disintegration in the world. Or in a word, darkness. The Bible's not at all afraid to talk about the darkness we all experience as part of our human condition. But it's also not afraid to speak about hope in that darkness. Listen again to these words from Isaiah. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You see, every dark path needs a light at the end of a tunnel. Every sad story needs a turning point if it's going to have a happy ending. Every person needs a hope worth having. And that's exactly the kind of hope Isaiah was talking about. Those words of prophecy were written around 700 years before the birth of Jesus. And they contain a promise. A promise from God that someone was coming. Someone who could turn things around. Someone who really could bring light into the darkness. And he would be called the Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. I don't know whether you believe there's a God out there or not. Uh, these days, even though lots of people don't like to think of themselves as religious, lots of people still like to think there might be something more to the universe than just our material reality. Something else out there, some God who could make sense of life here on earth. But if there was a God out there like that, wouldn't it be great if he revealed it? Or wouldn't it be wonderful if he stepped into history to show himself, to let us ask questions of him, to, to begin to make sense of the life he created? Well, the Bible's claim is that that's exactly what God has done. 2,000 years ago, there came to earth this man who was the one promised by Isaiah, the wonderful counsellor, the mighty God, the Prince of Peace. Come here to earth to be the light in the darkness, to give us a hope that no darkness can ever truly overcome. But here's a thing you might not have thought about. At receiving that hope into your life takes a measure of courage. 
It took courage for Mary and Joseph to accept their place in the plans and purposes of God. It took courage for the shepherds to leave the hillside and seek the one they had heard about. It took courage for the wise men to come and worship him. And the same will be true for you today. At Christmas will only ever be a story about other people finding hope in Jesus until you have the courage to explore the Christian message for yourself. That's why every year we invite people to do just that. So whether you do or don't believe, this is your invitation to explore, to discuss, to question, to discover a hope worth having.